Hey guys. So you might be surprised that this video has sort of just come flying straight out of the blue and that's fair enough. Because I've actually, I mean I haven't, it says it, I've got strips and it says I've rehearsed the video but I haven't rehearsed the video. So I'm just going to miss that bit. Because even if you're a tiny YouTuber like me, a face reveal is a really massive video. Even for well, any channel basically. So the plan for this video is to just tell you a few strange and not so strange facts about me. Nothing too energetic really, or exciting, just a nice relaxed video. So, I know we're only 46 seconds in, I didn't think I'd be able to read that that fast. Don't know why. I'm really bad at thinking how fast it's going to take me to read stuff. If I keep looking down I've got a script. I think I might have said that already, I'm not sure. So, one fact about me then is I really can't smile if I'm showing my teeth. And, well, I can, it just doesn't look very natural. This is my normal smile. This is my, me smiling with my teeth. Yeah, no, that doesn't look very natural. <laughs> so, See what I mean? Um, right, another fact about me is I can't go one day without hearing a Eurovision song or an official Eurovision song upon... It's really hard to say. An official Eurovision Song Contest podcast episode. Because, you know. On that note... Hold on, I've got to do something my script because I really don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, I don't know, I've got to go off it. There we go. Right. Let's try again. On that note, another fact is that the first Eurovision Song Contest show that I watched was the grand final of 2022 in, 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 in Turin. I didn't watch it live, obviously. Well, I did, but not there. On TV, of course. I could never afford... I mean, I might be able to. I don't know. <laughs> and so... That means only two years ago, if you didn't know, I, I love Eurovision, like I'm obsessed. So, if you didn't know, that... Yeah, no, that's not what I meant to say. I've already tried to do this, like, three times and I messed it up. So, I kind of rehearsed. But, you know... I only got like 10 seconds in on the on one of them. And so only two years ago, only four hours changed my view of music forever. I immediately fell in love with the contest. And in 2023, I watched the first semi-final and was disappointed that Azerbaijan... That's a great... Let's try that again. I'm going to hold it now. Uh, so yeah, I was disappointed that Azerbaijan, the Netherlands and Malta hadn't qualified because, you know, you can't blame me. They were really good songs, all of them. And, um, you know, uh, I can barely remember anything about the second semi-final. I did watch it, though. And the grand final had did have me slightly dismayed at Lorene's victory, but I was even more annoyed... That May Miller came, came 25th. It, because, I mean, her vocals weren't stunning. But they were better than I mean. I'm not going to say anymore. I know probably most of the people watching this are going to really like Armenia. Brunette. No, I mean, I mean, you can. Um, it's opinions, isn't it? It's a matter of opinion. In my opinion, I don't like it. But that's also... That's coming from someone who likes In The Mid or the Moldovan entry for Eurovision this year. Well, I mean, I, I kind of like it. I used to like it a, 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 when I first heard it. I, I liked it more. I, I'm not too bothered anymore, but it's still not bad. And so, you know, 
So, yeah. I don't mind either of those songs. Lorene Tattoo. That was... I shouldn't have done that. Or... Um, May Miller. The song. I'm not gonna sing this that one. Because, you know... I wish I hadn't sung the, the tattoo. So, yeah. This year I'm really looking forward to watching the contest. And I really hope Germany doesn't come last in the final again. Because... I really like Isaac's song this year, Always on the Run, because it's he can sing. He can sing. He can sing. He has a good taste in music because it's a good song. It's a very nice tune. He can sing um different pitches. Had to itch my nose, sorry. And I can't actually decide which country is my favourite this year. Because a lot of them are quite good. And a lot of them are. And my favourites do include Italy. Oh, maybe not my favourite. I really didn't like Italy's to start with that much. I didn't hate it, but... I st and I still don't really understand why people like it so much. Yes, she can sing. Also, Greece. If you like that song from Greece, please don't watch my video. I mean, you can, but why would you like a woman going ta 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 for three minutes straight, pretty much? I understand that there is like an emotional meaning to the song. But if you're going to make it emotional, make it sound emotional. Or at least don't make it sound as bad as that. No offence to Marina Sati. I'm sure she put a lot of effort into the song. And because of the semi-finals are just relying on the televotes. I know she's going to qualify. I think she's in the first semi-final. And that probably means... That... You know, better songs like Lithuania probably won't qualify. Which is really sad because that's a lot better than Greece. And I think it was the first one I watched this year or heard. And, you know. But in the final, I can tell you, the jury will not support Greece. They will probably support Italy and Italy may well win. I mean, I'm hoping Italy don't win, because I do like the song. I really like the song, just don't think it's really winning material. Germany should win. Well, Germany's one of the, play the countries that should win. My mind's gone blank of the, other, of the other countries now. I'm really... Switzerland. Switzerland's winning material. I'm not saying I want Switzerland to win. Croatia. Croatia's good, but I don't know if the jury will support Marco that much. You know, baby lasagna. Um, Australia are pretty good. They probably won't qualify, though. And so, yeah, anyway. I think that's pretty much all for this video. Um... I also, I can't promise you'll be seeing my face much in videos until I can get my microphone working and my also my webcam working. Might take a fair while because I'm really not very good with technology. Um, so, I think, uh, again, I think that'll be all for the video. And if you would please consider subscribing, that would be really great. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Uh, goodbye. Thank you once again. No, I don't know. That was sorry. Bye. Oh, I meant to press it. Oh, I'm really bad at this.